Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And um, for all who are stopping by for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and select the bell down there. Bang it up, beat it up, guys. And for all my old subscribe um, subscribers, welcome back, y'all. You know what time it is. It's time for another tutorial. So you guys ask me, how do you get your lace front to look so natural, like scalp like? Well, I'm about to show you what I do. It's not brain surgery. All it requires is a little bit of patience and a little bit of time. So um, anyways guys, all the, all the products that I used are gonna be in the down bar, everything up to the pin that I use, okay? So don't you worry and uh, make sure you like this video. Share this video guys. Sharing is caring and um, thumbs it up. And um, for further videos, if you have any more, if you have any ideas, anything you want me to bring to the channel, just let your girl know. That's all there is to it, you know. Let me know. Communicate, guys. And until next time, on to the video. So, yeah, guys, welcome back. And um, so for to apply the um, your lace front wig, for it to look all natural as the intro state, um, we're going to need um, or got to be glue gel, right? And I have two. Sometimes I use the one in the black container tube and and sometimes I use the one in the the yellow container or tube. You're gonna need your freeze spray got to be glued and also you're gonna need like your uh, tail comb you're gonna need um, a hair dryer blow dryer whatever you call this and you're gonna need of course the stocking cap or wig cap whatever you call it you can get this at the beauty supply for like a dollar 99 and of course the got to be glue gel and the free spray you can also get those at Walmart to buy um, so basic I'm not gonna take my stocking cap off guys because my hair under this is a mess anyways what we're gonna do is you're gonna get the gel so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the gel and I'm gonna apply some pull it down over your ears guys and then what you're gonna want to do is Snip, snip the, the cap a bit and put it your ear. And you're going to want to get your gel again. Now, if you have a toothbrush or a brush or whatever, you can use that to apply the gel. But I'm just going to use my finger because that's what I always do. I'm not going to pretend, guys, just because I'm on camera. I'm just going to be real with you, okay? I'm keeping it 100. So after you've applied the gel, guys, around the perimeter like that, just like that, you're gonna wanna get your blow dryer. You're gonna wanna put it on cool. So after you've dried it, guys, what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna cut away the stocking cap to as close as close to your hairline as possible okay now don't go cutting your hair now
Okay, so after you have this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your got to be glue again, and you're gonna. It never fails. It never fails. So after you add the glue, you're gonna wanna freeze it with the spray, okay? And then you're gonna get your wig. Now, I've already styled mine, so um, I'm just going to try to put it on now. And um, I'm planning on doing a review. Yes, guys, I'm planning on doing a review on this, um, this hair, this unit I made myself here. This is a really nice, uh, really nice hair, guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wig, <laughs> let's try to get this in free, and you're gonna pop it on. Now this is what, I use the elastic band method to help to keep the hair on, the unit on my head, okay? This is what the elastic band is for. And as you can see guys, I'm going to need to sort out my, uh, <laughs> finesse my baby hair. And um, of course, you know, you have to let this dry, you know, but basically, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to try to finesse all this baby hair stuff and then I'll be right back. But you know guys, you're going to take your blow dryer again and but wait a minute. What you could do is you can get your scarf and you could tie this bad boy down like tie it down like this. Okay? So that it it um so that it it has the opportunity to to dry and um adhere to your uh, to your scalp or to the stocking cap So this is what I'm going <laughs> to I know it looks crazy, but don't worry about that because that's not how you're going to wear it with the stocking, with the cloth like that. But um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do like this and then I'm going to leave it for like about 10 minutes and then it should be dry and we should um, be ready to go. So I'm going to let this dry, finesse my baby hairs, and then I'll be back on camera to show you exactly how it looks. So see you in a bit. So yeah guys, so here is the finished look. As I told you, I'd go and finesse this baby hair down, have my baby hair laid, you know, fried, dyed, and up in a do. Anyways, um, guys, as I said, all the things that you're gonna need is the got to be glue, depending on which one you wanna use. I use the clear one because um, it, you know what, it flakes less. But you can also use this if, if this is what you have. But if you had to choose, if you have to go to the store to buy Got To Be Blue, I'd tell you to buy this one, not this one. 
this one and then you'll get the freeze spray you know you get the cap the stocking cap and you know all the in all the products that i like i use are gonna be listed in the down bar guys in the down bar below i will list every single product that i use anyways guys this is the finished look and as you can see it wasn't hard it's just one two three it gives you like um it, all it requires is a little bit of time and I, I believe me this install it lasts for up to approximately five days or more depending on how you sweat or how you take care of it anyways guys again I hope this tutorial or I hope this was helpful to you all and that's all I do I try to bring you guys stuff you ask me how do I get my, my uh, lace front looking so natural? This is what I do, that's the secret. Nothing else, that's all it takes. Anyways, um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And follow me on my social media, guys. Um, I'm on IG and I'm on Facebook. And until next time, I love you all, bye.